This is That's Debatable when I'm your host, Jeremiah Bays, where anything you say can and will be debated. Let's get into it. That's debatable, that's debatable, that's debatable, yeah. That's debatable, that's debatable, that's debatable, yeah. Attention, all listeners. Welcome to Podcast Heaven, the only elevator that's going to take you higher. So clean out your ears with a fat Q-tip and get ready to trap it out with DJ Let's Get It. Now let's get to it. All right, here we go today. We're going to talk about some sports. We got cool DJ Let's Get It. We got Jeremiah Bays. Uh, it's going down. We're going to jump straight into some basketball. Yeah, For yeah, all the yeah. Basketball fans out there, NBA, college, high school, however you want to, whatever. I'm gonna start it off by uh, saying, "Go Bulldogs!" You know how we Bulldogs, did it. Bulldogs, come play out. for the Bulldogs coming up. Bulldogs, you know? what Bulldogs? Come on, South High, baby. Oh man, we Eastmore, baby. We the <laughs> Warriors. You better stop it. Oh <laughs> man, come on, man. You know. Other than that, you know, we gonna jump into it. Uh, I'm a, I'm jumping off. I'm gonna jump on out there and talk about LeBron James, the best player in the NBA. Uh, oh, you know he's my hurt. opinion, he's hurt. He be back for the playoffs. Um, two more weeks, they uh, said. They said my man got what four rings now. Yeah, four uh, rings, six losses, three different teams. It's, it's hard to top that man. All these one guys, they they get they get a good team and they stick with it. He was able to go from team to team and get rings and. Nine times out of the team, he probably get another one this year over the Nets if they make it. Time out. Hold on. So why he have to before you even before we brag about winning on different teams, why did he have to switch teams to win in the first place? Well, you know, it, 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 it was it was it was it was a crisis in it's a cur- it was a curse in Cleveland, Ohio. You know, and uh, he had to get up out of there. I would have got up out of there. He teamed up with some of his homies, Bosch and Wade, and it worked out. They went and won two rings. He came back to Cleveland once they got it situated, and he made sure that. That they under they had the understanding for him to come back. They made an understanding. He came back, won a ring, and then once he got the understanding, he went ahead and jetted on him again and went to L.A. and won another ring. I mean, man, it, it, it's only one player out there that went to several teams and got rings like that. And I gotta give it give it up to Robert Horry. So we comparing Brown to Robert Ory. That's what we doing. No, we not doing that. So we, we, we <laughs> everybody to get to talk about, oh, Jordan got six rings, Kobe hey. got five rings, and then I'll be like, oh, so that make them better than him? They be like, yeah. Then when I say, okay, Robert Ory got seven rings, right. so that makes him better than them, right? No, it's not the ring count that make it the like end all be all. The ring count is just because he the six and O is just. And the when the three times the trifecta, like only you know only four teams have done that, the the Celtics, the Lakers, and the Bulls. Now you got Brian. He of course he been there. I ain't even talking in the microphone. Let me talk in the mic. Of course you got Brian. Yeah, so they can hear this BS you talking about. Man, listen. All I'm saying is, he the Swiss teams. So. You just made me switch topics. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Facts. Oh, bro. Facts. Yeah, he He's done the, ran. The best player in the NBA, not Durant. Oh, no, the KD's my not guy. Not Kyrie. Well, Kyrie ain't the best player. Not, and you got his, whatever his name is. Yeah. Ghani. Giannis. Giannis. <laughs> he talking uh, about Ghani. None of them. <laughs> it's LeBron. Man, he can't be the best player on the sideline right now, so... You got to be active to be the best player right now, the best player in the league consistently, even though he been hurt too, but he back being dominant. It's Joel Embiid. I, I just dog. started liking Curry. Oh, you late, bro. I just started liking Curry, hey, man. He about to he, go off tonight. He got the luckiest shots. He got off. Oh, <laughs> he luck. The, the That's room, talent. The rumors is he the next. He going to be the next player coming to L.A. to team up with LeBron. Uh, for what? He's going to be the next one to team up with him because he need him. He ain't never win another championship without LeBron. And he don't need even. He don't technically need another championship. He solidified. He got his three 
And if he and if he go team up with Braun, he ain't gonna get Finals MVP. The only argument is the Final MVP thing anyway. So no, he, he he'll get it. He will get it. He ain't gonna get Finals MVP on no LeBron, LeBron James LeBron team. LeBron ain't stingy, man. He shares. He no, shares. he don't. He shares That's the all. Ball. Okay. Good he, assist. He shares, yeah. When he can't, when he ducking from the free throw line, oh, man, <laughs> ducking. He, he the freight train. He running dudes over. Yeah, they ducking except for when it's ten seconds left. Get, <laughs> he got step for Get it. out the way. Get out the way. No, we yeah. got AD for the last ten seconds. It's, it's it. oh, Danny Green's open. I'm gonna kick it to him. That's type. That's that yeah, type. Yeah. That, oh, George Hill right open. Uh, right basketball good play. Yeah, he, right. The, the I, right I, basketball I, play. I prefer Go ahead and take the shot, but I, I ain't mad at him when he when he spread that ball and went on rings. You know, uh, that they, sound good. They he lost dog rings walk. too. They dog walk Miami. Dog walked them. Nah. Easy, no crowd. Some of them players can't even nah. play with crowds. My man. argument for that is they wasn't even supposed to go six games. They needed a if, crowd. If your man's ain't, if your man's don't throw it to Danny Green. Got Dan, got poor old Danny Green getting death threats. They needed a cry. Got poor, poor. They ain't no Danny Green on Twitter talking about you missed the <laughs> shot. I'm gonna kill you. Like what? Like what do you mean? Hey, Danny Green. Oh, cause your man's ain't go to they take got the it, shot himself. They got Danny Green on up out of here, man. Nah, no, Danny you Green know. got that ring and he got up out of there. That's what he's going any farther. I gotta give uh, R.A.P. <laughs> to Kobe Bryant, one yeah. of the best players out there ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Growing up, I. I Respectfully, I hated that man growing up. I hated him, and then Bro. just towards the end, I started liking him. Yeah, once time. I knew he couldn't catch Jordan and win no more, I was I loved the hell out of him. <laughs> you can say hell. That's and cool. what's up with Jordan, man? Dude won't sign no autographs. He won't. What's God? He tell you, you no know in you, your face when you when you at that type of status. You ain't gotta sign autographs. Selfish bro. man. He ain't selfish like so. So I got his kicks one, on right now. That one <laughs> autograph that he signed for somebody that might be a turnaround point in their life. They oh. might go sell that baseball court or whatever for. It was probably only worth three thousand. Now it's worth thirty thousand. That'll set somebody up, man. This dude is like, I'm not. I, ain't nobody making no money off of me. That's selfish, man. Wealthy. You got shoes. You, you one of the best basketball players ever. He just all time. donated a hundred mil to the uh t- for ten years because he gave him ten ten million a year. Was sign that the Black Lives Matter movement, or was that the uh, sign my card? Sign my card. I got your rookie card, Jordan. I need you to sign them up. Well, you gotta go see that man. Would you about to go to Charlotte? He live in Charlotte. It's the big gate with the Jumpman logo. I'll catch him at one of the games whenever they open this place back up. He up there in the owner's box. Hey, everybody be looking safe at Melo, ice his wrist. Be safe due to the COVID. Wear your mask. Stay six feet and all that. <laughs> Stay six hey, feet. Bye. Man, I was staying six feet before they made it mandatory. Like, why are you close to me anyway, bro? <laughs> I already right. was thinking like that. Well, then no, we're gonna go to a commercial and we'll be right back. I got one question for you. Wrestle your feet. Looking for some fresh kicks? Well, look no further. Underground Kicks has 100% real, authentic, and affordable shoes for you and the family. At Underground Kicks, you can buy, sell, and trade your shoes. Based right out of our very own Columbus, Ohio, Underground Kicks has everything you need. From Brand Jordan to Nike, Adidas, Puma, you name it. Air Max 95s, Jordan 1s, Retros, kid sizes, women sizes, men sizes. You can find it all at Underground Kicks 92 on Instagram, email, Underground Kicks. 2 at gmail.com or hit up the number 614-372-3208. That's 614-372-3208. And get in contact with Mr. Underground himself, Brian Raymond, and put your order in today. Underground Kicks. This is where Fresh is at. All right, we back. Back in the house. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah, DJ, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we on the sports talk. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, sports that don't get recognition. I wanted to talk about real quick was the Olympics. I love watching the Olympics, man. The, the boxing, the gymnastics, uh, the tracks and field, the swimming, all that is, is is good for you. You know, that's just something I wanted to touch on. There's a lot of different sports, and then it's a worldwide thing. It's not just. Certain people going against each other's different nationality, races, and seeing who the, who the strongest. And nine times out of ten, a lot of times, well, America always come up top. But uh, we get them gold medals. We get them gold medals. Uh, you anything know, you got to say about the Olympics? 
Yeah, the one thing you didn't mention. Team USA basketball. We still we I, we, we can still talk about basketball there. Yeah, we and I just looked it up. The next one is in Beijing, and we gonna see who the next top twenty five athletes who are eligible to be in that slot. Two thousand twenty four. I'm sure that'd probably be the last one. Brown be enter. That'll probably have. That'll probably be another dream team type situation because it about it'll probably be a lot of people's last hurrah for the Olympics. So you might Brian get Brown and Brown and that KD and that Steph and that like you gonna see the ultimate dream team of today's basketball in this next Olympics because. Within this next five to six years, we're going to be a lot of guys is going to be retiring soon. So this next Olympics is going to be big, I think. Yeah, that sound that sound huge, man. That sound like whew, hey, that's huge right there. That's that's real talk. Um, we're going to go to another commercial and we'll be right back. Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Come to a healthy environment and get a cut by the best barber in Columbus, Ohio. Paul Clark, located at 1549 East Whittier Street. Come and get a clean cut by Paul Clark, 614-603-7020. Welcome to Jesse Mays Corral Cuisine. We are a family-run independent restaurant offering the best southern homestyle cooking in the Columbus area. We offer a great takeout menu for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Just pop in and say hello at 3671. East Livingston Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43227. Open from Wednesday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Even check out the Jesse Mays website at jessemayscorelcuisine.com. Check out the menu, Southern Style Home Cooked Meals at fair prices. Jesse Mays Signature Breakfast served from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. only. Jesse Mays Signature New York Strip Steak with two eggs, fried potato, and toast. Six wings and waffle with two eggs, fried potatoes. The Belly Buster Pancake platter mm, mm, mm. I'm getting hungry Just thinking about it And that's just The breakfast part Of the menu Go ahead and go On to the Jesse May Corral Cuisine Website Check out the Lunch and dinner options See what you can find It's the best food around Football yeah The drive coming up In a couple weeks You know what Oh my fault Yo, We this, back at it We yeah. back at it yeah, The drive yeah, coming show. up Yeah yeah okay. the, drive, the drive coming up In a couple weeks And They we already know who the number one pick is, Trevor Lawrence to the Jags. Shout out that boy, uh, Urban Meyer. I, he got Ur- he. Trevor Lawrence got to be special to get Urban Meyer to come out of retirement for something so serious. But that's not what I really want to touch on. I want to touch on this Justin Fields topic and why my dog sliding. Is it because of? A racial thing? Like, is it really because, you know, the stereotypical black quarterback, like all this, like they, 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 they tippy toeing around it. Ain't nobody really talking about it. Last one in, first one out. He don't study. Like, they saying all the stuff that they were saying about Haskins. The thing is, it was true with Haskins. Now, there could be a little bit of black stigma with that, but I ain't, I ain't going to touch I ain't going to 100% touch on that. I was told, I was thinking it could be a possible reflection of the school. Like, I'm a Buckeye fan. So, as a Buckeye fan, I know that none of our star quarterbacks in college has progressed in the league and really done something. So, that could be something of a thought with it to why he's randomly sliding even though for the past since high school Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields has been one and two from prospect to draft pick one and two every every year for the past four years from dro- even with even with uh, Justin Fields switching schools and we saw them two face head to head Justin Fields outperformed them both times but with this last time he prevailed even took a tough rib shot, super tough rib shot. Yeah, that was a, back. a cheat shot. It made me say, "Ooh!" I was like, cheat "Ooh, shot. look at that!" Ooh, I, I had to cover my son's eyes. They hit him so hard. Down goes Clemson, <laughs> right? And we ain't even gonna talk about top the tie. We know how that go. We gonna we bought even with them dudes. We 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 see y'all. They had to get paid back. They had to get paid back. It's cool. This year the Bama was just they, on one. They only beat us with one player. He's gone now. 
Nah, that team was solid. It was solid. I, they, I'm, I'm, a true, I'm a true Buckeye. I ain't, I ain't giving it to them. They got like six first round draft picks and four of them going top ten. Nah, that one was I ain't on, giving it to them. That one was on some other stuff, bro. Go Buckeyes. Yeah, for sure. But that would be cheated. <laughs> All right, and the upcoming Super Bowl champions this year, uh, Cleveland Browns, look out for them. You know what? We coming. <laughs> Realist Okay I'm not even A Browns <laughs> fan <laughs> Dog pound uh, He got my ear itching With that one dog So I don't know <laughs> Let the dog Chase the cat It's nothing but The dog in me Oh my yeah. god Yeah Man but not nah, real Alright but now Forget all that He ain't tr- He's serious too But I'm gonna find that As trolling But now nah, real talk The Browns Are coming And The, Watch the Steelers Is falling we don't know what the Ravens is about to do, and the Bengals is still a year or two away oh, before. Black and yellow around here. <laughs> she got a black. But yeah, got no yellow though. But <laughs> <laughs> but the Bengals is a year or two away. Let's go Bengals. Cause Joe Burrow and them was gonna be scary, especially depending on what they gonna do with they drive pick at five. Be a little scary. Is they gonna drive? If they is they gonna drive? A uh, number one target for uh, Burrow, or are they going to get him that lineman from Oregon to protect him, or the lineman from uh, Alabama, but most likely Penny O'Soul from Oregon, not yeah. tackle. But Ohio teams, we coming. Yeah, but nah, but real talk, though, the Browns, I could see them winning the AFC North. I could see them possibly I can see him going as far as the AFC Championship game. I can never just openly be like the Browns is going to the Super Bowl. I got to see how the season go for that. It's an extra game at it, and it's an extra playoff, playoff spot. Watch out for uh, Tennessee, ATL, and Dallas Cowboys this year. I, I got a good feeling on three teams. It's going to shock everybody. Yeah, I wonder what. See, everybody is just drooling over Kyle Pitts. And you got the you got the Falcons right there number four. If they get him in that offense with them weapons, Julio Ridley, that tight end coming. Man, Piss Piss already talking about he he want to be the best tight end of all time. I like mm. that. I love that energy. I love that energy. Good energy. But it's just gonna cow- hurt when you come through the dog pound. <laughs> Bruh, but the leave it alone. Let it just be happy, y'all. Good, like, and y'all gonna be consistently good. Yeah. How many? Where we at? Fifteen. All right. Yeah. Well, we had a good talk. We about to slide on up out. Yeah. We gonna catch up with y'all another time. Peace. It's your boy Jer. <laughs> One. Oh yeah. Well, it's time for me to slide out into the next flip. DJ, let's get it. And I truly appreciate every eardrum that tuned in. Thank you for all your thoughts, comments, and likes. Share as you please. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace. This is That's Debatable when I'm your host, Jeremiah Bays, where anything you say can and will be debated. That's debatable. That's debatable. That's debatable. Yeah, that's debatable.